How's it going, guys? My name is Daniel, and welcome to my hardcore Iron Man series on RuneScape 3. Now, this is going to be a massive grind, but it's going to be extremely worth it. Um, my plan is to try and survive until God Wars Dungeon 1. I like how it's lagging. I know it's in the tutorial. Kind of funky. Um, but my goal is to survive until at least God Wars Dungeon. If I don't survive by God Wars Dungeon, I'm going to be pretty sad because I really feel like I can. I can really do it up. Um, I'm not the best at RuneScape. I do have a max main of two 120s. Um, best thing I've ever done is probably kill Telos and 500% Arch Glazer. But those aren't really the most impressive things. Like Solo and X, all the fun jobs. But on this journey, we're going to have a fun time. Enjoy it. Do as much things as I possibly can. And I'll see you guys once we're out of this tutorial. I've never done this before. But if you're excited for a new hardcore series, go ahead and give me some love by hitting that like button. Help share with the algorithm. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Notification bell if you actually want to see more of these videos. I want to become something on Earnsheep, and I think this is the way to do it. So other than that, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace. Alright, cool. I wasn't expecting to actually get a level, so it's nice to see that I just got level 2 fishing in the tutorial. Alright, so Atlas Way has been created, our hardcore Iron Man. I have 4 fishing and 5 cooking from the tutorial. I am very excited to get on my journey of this Hardcore Iron Man. Our first few goals, our one main goal is going to be try to get the Quest Cape. It's going to take a long time to get it, but even my main account on RuneScape 3 does not have Quest Cape, so I think it's going to be a really good goal to grind towards. I would also like to unlock farming, player-owned farms, as soon as humanly possible. So that means I need to level up my farming and my construction, which construction is a very expensive skill early on, which is kind of sad. Um, I'm going to upgrade to members after I do all the tutorial and stuff like that. I really want to put in a lot of time on this account, and I think it's probably going to take up, honestly, most of my video game time in general. If I'm not playing World of Warcraft on the side because my family's really big into that, I'll be going ahead and playing a ton and ton of RuneScape. I'm very excited to play as an Iron Man because I know the grind is extremely hard, but I'm very excited to have each and every one of you guys join and help me out on my journey. I think that'd be really cool. Um, I know it's not going to be a while till I can do really anything of importance or interesting, but my main goal right now is to do as many quests as possible. It's just funny because I hate doing quests, but that's what we're going to focus on. Atlas Way is named after my son that we're about to have in November, December, which will be my second son. His name's going to be Atlas. So I thought it'd be cool to go for Atlas. And I always think Atlas Way sounds pretty cool as well. So that's what we went with. So yeah, if you guys want to add me, my in-game name's Atlas Way, Hardcore Iron Man. If you want to help me out in the future, hit me up. Let's know. Other than that, hit the, join that Discord. All the posts up down below in the description as well. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next because the early levels are really quick, we just got our first ever 50 milestone, which is really cool. So, only is ever going to happen once on the account. I hadn't cooked a whole bunch of stuff, and now we're going to continue for tutorial. So, I managed to go ahead and get myself my first set of full gear. Now, I even went ahead and set up my entire bar. Hopefully, it doesn't mess up, because I know while you're doing the tutorial, it actually will reset something. So, I hope not. This is how we're going to have it. That's how it's going to look. I think it looks quite nice. Um, but full bronze has been acquired with the maces because I know they give the prayer bonus. Uh, the offhand does it, but the main hand does. So I said, screw it, I've never used maces before. That's what we're going to do. This is going to be our weapon of choice during this little bit of gameplay before we feel like an absolute bronze god. My first boss fight. Let's get it. Be about to pop off. It's not even going to be scary, you know what I mean? I'm going to be like, bing, bam, boom, you're going to be dead. There we go. There's our first kill there. I forgot you actually get the offhand mace. If I bury this, boom. Let's go. Alrighty, so my tutorial is completely done. I'm going to go ahead and do these little side ones. These like these mini kind of side quests. That way I can go ahead and get all the things and these trackers done. So whenever I do the ability, I don't have to have them freaking constantly telling me, hey, go to this location. So we're going to knock these out and I'll see you guys in a second. 70 total level, highest stat is 9 cooking still. So see you in a second. I'm only recording this because it's actually one of my favorite animations in the entire game. I love when you make something. Like, I just, I think it's so neat. I really like that. It's one of my favorite animations, like I said, in the game. So, boom, there is archaeology skill level 5. We're just doing the archaeology tutorial right now. So, I just managed to go ahead and complete the archaeology 
newbie thingy majigger, but it got me all the way to 17 archaeology. That's pretty freaking awesome. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Archaeology is probably my favorite skill in the game right now, besides thieving, just because I love doing clue scrolls. The next skill that I'm gonna go ahead and try and do is construction. But because construction costs a lot of money, I made a whole bunch of bowstrings. I now have 1,666 GP. So I wasn't really going to record this, but that is 100 total levels. I know it's not the biggest milestone, but that is level 10 mining. Found a decent way to make a little bit of money. Um, I'm making the brooches. I just got the final piece that I needed. So I need over 5k to do the next step of freaking construction path. So, on our way there, we also got 10 wood cutting. Well, there it is, our first ever level 20 skill on our account, and it's blocked by a system update. That's pretty massive. I'm doing this literally just to get 5k coins. Not 20 crafting. So it's not much, but I did it. The freaking kitchen has been made. It gave me 10 planks for that. But now all my paths are completed, and all that's left is really the bossing one. So I'm very happy with my progression. Now it took quite a little bit. It's 4.20 a.m. I have a son that's going to wake up and like... Y'all had hope, maybe four hours, five hours, if I'm lucky, five hours. Um, but it's time for me to head to bed. Uh, once, you know, our baby number two, Atlas, is here, then we're really not going to be able to stay up this late ever again. But I did it just because I really wanted the progression. I feel like I did really good today. I'm really proud of myself. I know it's only 132 total. That's the end of today. I'm very, very proud of everything that's going on with this. We even got a cool little necklace. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip or the next episode. So it is day two of our hardcore Iron Man. I am happily doing some farming. I actually just realized I don't get any XP because I hit five since I'm free to play. But we just finished our first ever dailies. I don't know if you actually get rewards for this, for being an Iron Man. I don't really get anything for doing it, but hopefully maybe doing these ones we will. I'm not sure, but we'll see you all once this is all done. That is level 10 fire making. And with this one here, you're going to get level 10 cooking. I didn't actually expect that. I meant to say, and that is our dailies here completed. We now have uh, opals and gems, mining clay, and do some pottery. Hopefully you guys got that. But I just hit level 10 combat right here. I'm very proud of that because that is my first time I'll ever hit level 10 on this account. Now it's weird to show these low-level things, which probably just fly through. But that's what I did a long time ago, and I thought it'd be cool to show the actual progression. One thing I wish RuneScape had was shoulder pads. Playing World of Warcraft makes me really want to have shoulder pads in this game. And again, another short little level, but that is 10 archery. So 10 range, let's go. So I don't know if this is really worthy. Again, I'm not trying to get all these low level clips, but there's 10 fishing. Damn, we just hit 200 total level. For me, I think that's going to be a wrap of episode one then. Um, our highest stat is 27 mining. I did it while AFK taking care of my son. I also got 26 crafting wall on the grind to try and get our house upgraded. Uh, nothing super big's happened this episode, but to get 200 total level as a free-to-play player, which I've never played free-to-play since I was nine years old, I've had membership on RuneScape. So it's pretty fun. But if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all of us down below. My name is Neil. Thank you guys so much for supporting me, honestly. Massive shouts to my Patreon and my Discord and all the people that have joined down below. I really love you guys. Thank you so much for the constant support and continuous continuous love i really really appreciate it. you're the reason i make these videos other than that i hope you guys are excited for this series it's gonna be a really long series it's gonna be the longest series on my channel unless i die you know because then when i die everything's over um i think if i do die though on this account i'll if i hopefully have it i can make it so i can turn to a normal iron man and we'll keep this going as a long series yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just do a lot of fishing because i really want decent food um, I'm trying to get up to fly fishing. I just wasted all my money on feathers and bait. So if you guys enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. All the fuss is down below. I really, really appreciate it. If you guys are interested in any emotes as well, I make emotes for people. I do it for free most of the time. If you want to tip me, I'd gladly take it. If not, I'll see you in the next one, like I said. And uh, honestly, thank you guys so much for the support. I'm very excited to bring RuneScape back to my channel. It's my number one favorite game I've been playing since I was freaking nine years old, okay? So it belongs here. Peace.